I'm Dan Ackerman, and we are here taking a look at Apple's new Logic Pro 10 music recording software. Uh, this is such a big, uh, complicated package. There's so much to it, we can't really go over everything in one video. So instead, I'm going to show you how to use one of the cool highlights here, which is using your iPad as a remote control surface for Logic Pro 10. There's a special uh, app that you get for free on your iPad once you spend $200 on Logic Pro 10. And once you connect those two on the same Wi-Fi network, uh, then it's actually pretty seamless. Uh, the most important thing you can do is control your mixing board. You can bring up a, an on-screen mixing board right here with all your faders on it, but you, at the same time you can get eight faders uh, at a time here on your iPad. And the real advantage here is you can actually use multi-touch on the iPad to control multiple faders at once. So I can grab two or three of them and just go up and down and you'll see that they move at the same time right here on the, uh, on the iMac screen. If I was just doing this on the computer, I'd have to take my mouse and the pointer and just move every uh, fader one at a time, not nearly as efficient. Uh, the other cool thing is you can take pretty much any instrument or track that you've got here in Logic and you'll get a, a, a contextual screen here on the iPad. So if I select this, uh, this bass track I have right here, I get, a, I get a fretboard here on the iPad that I can play directly from the iPad but I can call up an electric piano and I get a, a keyboard on screen and I get the controls for that particular instrument and I can play around with it a little bit like this. We just threw four bars together uh, using a bunch of different keyboards and a bass and some drums uh, just to show what you could do very quickly here in Logic Pro 10. And I've got my little loop playing and I can solo tracks directly from the iPad, I can add stuff, I can make it louder or quieter. So for Logic Pro 10, the iPad integration is really deep. Uh, I did have to set my iPad to make sure the screen didn't turn itself off after a few minutes, uh, otherwise I kept having to turn it on and sometimes having to uh, uh, remake the connection between the uh, computer and the iPad. But once I got that out of the way, I found myself using the iPad a lot more for control and the actual iMac screen a lot less. I'm Dan Ackerman and that is a quick how-to for Apple's Logic Pro 10.